dog event is in Overwatch. <laughs> it was almost like a year, or well, saying it was, when I did the year of the rooster event in Overwatch. Now, with this I've added a ton of new skins, of course skins from last year are all at discount, and unlike previous events, this one's going to be running for a month essentially, because, as Jeff said, around Chinese New Year people go out and travel. So I'm just going to open, it, open one of the loot boxes, you can see up there I'm silver levels now. Okay, uh, there's our on the house emblem. Okay, let's just open the loot box. Can we get a legendary? Oh, okay. Just get. You know, I'm, uh, okay, I like how they're using the same sort of colour thing as last time because if it be, be a bit. Oh, that, again, that opening thing is good. But a lot of the skins, like these skins, they look like they could be in World of Warcraft, which is pretty funny. So, okay. Let's go into play icons, see what play icons there are. What new ones? Of course, I've just gotten myself two of them because of the event one and the Widowmaker one. So let's just go down to the bottom, see what ones there are to get. So, we have, of course, some of them are from last year. So, Lion Dance, Magistrate, Pigsy, Monkey, Sandy. Okay, that's something to do with the Overwatch League. Uh, coin. Oh yeah, um, they're doing competitive catch of the flag like they did competitive Lucio Ball. And, oh, hang on. Have they done the thing for Season 9 already? <laughs> or are they getting the map for Season 9 ready? Uh, not to be sad, I haven't even done my placements for Season 8. <laughs> okay, so... And these, I'm guessing, are the other ones. Available, Tangerines, Peach Mari, Bucky Mari, Good Fortune. That was something that's in a lot last year. Panking Mari, Paklamari, Huchimari, Ruchimari, of course, uh, Genru. I don't know how to pronounce these uh, Chinese ones. Uh, if if they're in Japanese, they're a Japanese name, I've been able to pronounce it. Yes, I know they are Chinese. So, every um, hero, or a lot of heroes have no unlocks. I'll just go over skins, because I know no one will probably watch my old videos, so I'll see what it is. Okay, so this is uh, the Tao. Uh, Alna skin. It was in there last year. I always called it the con I called it the consecrated skin. I like how they've changed up like, the logo there, so it isn't a generic rooster because they didn't know if it's a year of the rooster or not. Bastion has one from last year. Rooster, where he, where he has a bunch of rooster symbols pasted on him, and uh, Archimedes is turned into a rooster. Diva. Now I have a skin from last year. I'm just gonna equip that. Where's Palanquin? Okay, here we go. Let's go. Right. Eh. Yeah. Also got a voice line, I'll just uh, equip this. Oh, Happy New Year, okay. This, that's, this is going to say that in Korean. Doompiss has had some changes done to him. Of course, not new skins and that, but he's had um, game balances. They've lowered the damage of his uh, hand cannon, yeah, that's what it's called, but increased the amount of, sp or increased the amount of projectiles used. Uh, Genji, we saw he has an amazing skin for this one, the Baihu, and I think that's supposed to represent a uh, lion, and yeah, another thing, like last year we had the four skins representing characters from the Chinese folk tale Journey to the West, this year they're based off the um, Chinese zodiac creatures, uh, yeah, and also another thing is, this skin has a special voice line when he uses his alt, like how with um, Oni Genji he says, um, I don't know what it is in Japanese, but it's something like, the demon becomes me, I, I just remembered Oni Yoken wa Korea, I don't know, I can't remember what the new skin is, what he says, but I'll find out, I don't think Hanzo has anything, let me just check, I'll just check emotes as well, that, that might be a emote, I'm not going to check um, victory poses, I'll probably only check uh, I don't enjoy so I only need to check the other ones. I don't think there are there any for those ones. Uh, Junkrat, he has a skin from last year. It's an epic uh, firework. I'll just put that on there. Uh, McCree, he has one, as you probably saw with that um, player icon, Magistrate. I'm going to guess it. they'll call it that. Uh, yeah, oh yeah, Magistrate. A very um, uh, East Asian inspired cowboy outfit. Actually, it doesn't look too bad. Well, hang on, has he got a victory, new victory pose? I saw those, it said 5 out of 6. Okay, so, 
Looks like most people have new victory poses. I'm not going to go over those. Um, you'll probably be able to see those. I'm just going to go over the main ones and like I usually do the main editions, of course. Mercy, she has a fortune skin from last year. And of course, you've got a uh, I don't know what it is. Uh, skin that's also representing one of the zodiacs. I think that's representing a phoenix just by looking at it and looking at that emblem there. Check weapons, they have anything to do with phoenixes on them? Nope. She has a highlight entry from last year, which I'm so annoyed I didn't buy last year, but it's good that it's back again at a third of the price. Okay, uh, Moira, I don't think she has anything. But if the number hasn't gone up that much, it's probably only going up like two or three. Arissa doesn't. Farah, she has uh, another new skin. Where was it? Oh, not a Bedouin. A uh, Qinglong. Uh, that's a uh, dragon, as I can see from there along the chest. Yet again, another skin that looks like it could be from World of Warcraft. Just the same as Torbjorn's World of Warcraft skin, but don't mind that. Reinhardt, of course, has this one from last year that was inspired by Journey to the West. I th think this is Wujing, but. Uh, I think my parents watched a TV show about it when they were younger. I can't remember what the name was of this character. They'll probably tell me afterwards. Let's see. Uh, Roadhog also has a. This is from last year though. Journey to Western inspired skin. Uh, Beiji is like a pig. Oh yeah. Oh Roadhog also. Roadhog. <laughs> Roadhog. Yeah. So again, Roadhog also has a highlight intro still from last year that I bought. As you can see, this is probably one of the better highlight intros out there. Soldier, I don't think has anything. Oh, I've got a video. Oh shit, yeah, I just remembered. May, she has a uh, skins that she has Luna and uh, Changje. You probably noticed from last year. I got the Luna skin, my first loot box at the event, which was pretty nice. Uh, don't know. I had a little bit of a pause there. Oh, yeah, I know why. Because I was just getting up a picture of all of the. New items that have, or all the new, yeah, all of the main skins. Sombra, I don't remember her having a skin. Of course, I don't also don't know if there are any emotes added. That's why I've got the. Uh, uh, that's why I've got the video up at the moment with them introducing all of the new pieces of gear. Of course, uh, Symmetra, she has the Keep Howl skin. Which is in a kipao, I think that's the name of a Chinese sort of dress. You'll probably be able to hear the video in the background. This is just gonna go through that because of the uh, voice lines, of course, sprays. Hey, hey, I may be able to max out the sprays on Tracer. Or, oh, heck, I'll be able to start maxing out sprays, that's a good thing. Wait, okay, hang on. Okay, so it looks like season nine is going to be based on Hollywood. I think I've went past where that skin was. Uh, I'll find it eventually. Uh, oh yeah, the Chase also has a spray from last year. Or is it a uh, rose? And just checking this video, Roadhog has an emote I didn't see. Or is it secret friend? He just takes out a Pachimari. Nice, uh, Widow, she has a skin, I think this is also another one based off, uh, one of the three, uh, okay, no, it isn't, it isn't based off one of the four Zodiacs, but it's a nice skin nonetheless, and that was the skin that's in the thumbnail for the, uh, of course, called update video with, uh, Daddy Jeff, uh, Wukong, Winston's skin, probably one of the bigger faces of last year's event, Based off Sun Wukong from Journey of the West, who also inspired Sun Goku from Dragon Ball, and uh, Sun Wukong from Ruby. And uh, Zarya, she has another one of these skins that's based off the Chinese zodiacs. I'm gonna just give it a go at pronounce this is Zhang Wu, I don't know, and that's based off I think, yeah, Tortoise. Yep, another skin that looks like it'd be shaped from Wow. Uh, and Zen, of course, he has. Here's one from last year, which is, let me just get it, Sanzang. I don't know if he has an emote or not, but I don't really care about the emotes and other stuff. I'm just going to show you the skins. You can find the other stuff. No one watching my videos anyway. I'm going to have my channel die very promptly. So where is it? Uh, okay, yeah, so you've got a competitive capture the flag. 
and this is the new map. I'm gonna give it a go at playing this. I say, uh, I don't know. I'll probably get. Oh, hang on. What's that up there? CCF. Oh yeah. One thing is when you search. Hang on, let me just exit this. I think it actually tells you what you're joining when you hold up. Yeah, there we go. Quick play. So that when you so when you go on it, you know what you've actually started, and you've known if you've messed up or not. Another thing they've done is I think they've um, added the ability to change skins as you're going into the game. Just seeing if anyone else was on. I can remember when nearly everyone on here would be on Overwatch, but now that's far from the truth. Most people on Fortnite. Okay, that's how you obviously pronounce it. Of course, this is in Thailand. This map. And okay, oh yes, here we go. There on the corner, you can changing skins. Okay, so uh, I'll just go. As, oh, I don't know. Oh, it also tells you up there what game mode it is. Uh, capture the flag. So that'll be pretty helpful going into a map for a new player. I don't know who to pick. Uh, I'll just go trace. I just teleport in and out. And of course, yeah, I can just just going to demonstrate with this. Yeah, just. Easy change your skin, so I'll just keep it on the rose skin. Now I wasn't going to explore the map separately because I thought it would probably take quite a bit too long because, well, whenever I run around on my own it's pretty boring. Nothing basically goes on. But if I show you in an actual game environment, one, there'll be something actually happening and two, you get to hear my very monotone voice over and over again and another thing is that draws and capture the flag are now impossible what happens is if both teams have the same uh, amount of points on their or same amount of flags captured it will just bring the flags closer to each other and this map has been made specifically for capture the flag but I can kind of imagine them in the future turning this little bit here and to say something like a control point. I should know they can't because the map's tiny. Just re realise how close we are to the capture point. Okay, so they're all down there. They I don't think they've got a I thought I don't think they have got a tour on. Instantly find a tower. Oh, Okay, they've dropped it. it. It'll be picked up sooner or later. The good thing is we don't have to... Uh, there isn't that really annoying... Uh, as I was saying, there isn't that really, really annoying... But what, they have the flag? I thought I had it. Oh, the, the hog has the flag. I'm pretty sure I had it. Okay, just escort Roadhog back. Soldier will try to stop us. I'll stop the soldier. I said I'll stop the soldier. Wait, that didn't, that didn't, that didn't stick to, to arrest us. Okay, tell me if you think that should have stuck. Oh, okay. Oh, nice, nice res. Oh yeah, the other day they put the mercy buff. Not buff, uh, far from buff, it was a nerf. Though, as you know, Mercy, since they changed her ult, she's been getting used less and less and less. Because her res, you have to wait nearly two seconds for her to actually do it. In Valkyrie mode, it's no longer instant res. All that you get in Valkyrie mode is you get to fly and your healing is spread out. Okay, there's a fire up there. Flag of course, the problem is with capture the flag is a lot of the time people choose mobility-based heroes, so or heroes with a lot of health, like uh, Roadhog, uh, Farah, Tracer, and Sombra. We also have people playing defensive heroes. As you can remember, last year when I played this, I um, picked Bastion on a defensive point and I can't remember if not but I, I can remember getting wrecked by Genji or no not getting wrecked by Genji 
fucker. Keep myself with everything. I can remember there was a Genji that killed me at some point. I might be getting a bit crazy, but all I can remember about Genji last year was that I can remember in the video I made last year going, oh look, Genji's abilities now show up. Oh, oh. I spent too much time blabbing on about useless to that I get caught in a trap. I'm guessing they've changed the somber skin. Now another problem I've noticed though with them adding the ability to change skins is that you can pick a skin to blend in with your environment more. Which is kind of good for that McCree player who didn't realise he had Vigilante or or the uh, other McCree skin where it's like bright colours. It'd be a bit better for them because they won't have to go into a map and realise, oh I have no camouflage whatsoever. Just someone please take out that Torben turret. Oh, it's a diva. That's that. It was a lone diva. Oh, flag got recovered and all like that. Now I have had it before, I don't know if I'm to try it again. Done the had the best trick shot on uh Tracer because I managed to stick the bomb to a um Oh that went well didn't it? But I managed to stick the bomb to a mid-air Farah who flew up and landed in a group of our teammates and blew a lot of them up. Let's see should I which oh, it's only at the beginning of the game where you can change the skin. Looks like it is only at the beginning, but at least I gave you the option. Okay. So okay, gold limbs, for elimination. That's pretty nice. Uh, and other news. Oh, I don't really think there is much other news going on that I've watched at the moment. Uh. Yeah. But I'll say that's have to do with my channel. I'm really lacking on views now. Or not views, I'm lacking on active people watching my videos. For those who are still, give me any suggestions on what to do. And I knew I know that there will be someone saying or commenting or snapchat me, delete your channel, it's shit or as Mimulus put it, uh of course just saying this, don't don't copyright strike or like flag my video. No matter what you do, do or say on the internet, you'll get someone saying to kill yourself. But yeah, any other games you think I should get and do videos of, I can do, or I might be able to. Might, yeah, <laughs> I might be able to do a video on those if I have the game or not. If it's a shit game, so that I won't play it. If anyone starts going, <laughs> play Battlefront 2, I'm not giving any of my money to that shit pile known as EA and as we all know you can't spell dead without EA um, PC gaming I might be able to do sort of small scale versions of that because my laptop has a screen recorder and I can just copy the videos over onto my PlayStation now I might around uh, March time give in to the bane of all YouTube and do a rea a do or might do reaction videos yes I know everyone's gonna hate me but these will only be few and far between. They'll only be on premieres of new series or finales of series I've been watching. And if I mean what type of series? Uh, probably anime stuff. Might watch the season, the series finale of uh, Dragon Ball Super because that's coming to an end or is having a break after the Universal Survival arc is over, which at the moment has been going on for like about 50 episodes but as you know it's been going on for about a year's worth of episodes which is a long while uh, might do probably a reaction video to the last episode of that I'll probably do a reaction to first and last episode of Attack on Titan Season 3 
probably the first episode or main battle of My Hero Academia. And this is later on in the year, but the first um, episode of Ruby uh, Volume 6. Ruby is a good show just to watch, by the way. It's available on YouTube for free. Oh, oh, hang on. Play the game. Let's see what I get. Of course, I'll open this other loot box. Okay. Oh, is it just... Is it going to be one of those play of the game where you don't actually do anything? Or... Oh, yeah, that. Everyone... I, I, I threw the bomb, but I don't even... It doesn't even hit the... Bastion, it's so bloody annoying. Okay, let's just uh, open my loot box, see if I get anything. It'll I'll probably get uh, shit, as I never have good loot box opening luck. Got some duplicates. Yeah, that. Yeah, the epic was just gun currency. It's just a player icon from voice lines. That's all I'm going to get for the moment, because most of the stuff I'm going to be getting is going to be new items until I start getting the legendaries. But yeah. I'll see you in the next video. Peace.